Hey everyone, um, this is my first tutorial or information having to do with watercolor and actually creation because this is a time we all should be creating what it is that we want. Who do we want to be? How do we want to do it? It's up to us. Um, we have jurisdiction over ourselves in how we spend our time. And I've been compulsively painting for a couple of weeks, months. Um, and what I wanted to show was you can use watercolor with dip pens. I don't know. I didn't realize how easy this was until I just tried it. So that's why I'm so excited about it. Um, I just have some watercolor on my brush right here. And then I went like, woo. I know. <laughs> I have no. Uh, put it there and there. Oh, yes. And then what you can do. This is like a basic. I'm not even prepared here. Um, what you can do is, does this work? Except I have to do it this way, right? You could actually say, hello, and it's in watercolor. And look at the fine line on that. And it's backwards, because this is my Mac camera rather than my phone camera. And you can do cross hatching, you can do drawing, and that's all on the ink there. Um, and this allows you really to have really precise control over what you're doing. So you can have a very detailed um, pen and ink drawing using color with just your watercolors. You don't have to do them more. You can mix them and make them all different colors. Yay. So to creation. Okay. So I wanted to show you this awesome nib up close, what this can look like. And this is just watercolor. Hello. And you can change, swap out color by, I just dip this gently, not very far, in water. And um, selected another paint. And I can even combine it a little, mix it on the nib. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's a random idea, and part of creating is doing random things and seeing what happens. At least for me, that's what it is. And I know that kind of way, <laughs> including my partner drives him nuts. But, um, but then you can get unexpected surprises that are like, wow. You know, wonk. I love doing bee bonkers. That's why I call those little antenna. I'm not sure if it's if it's like a insect thing or an alien thing. I think it's more like an insect thing. Shoo, shoo. This guy's a cockroach. <laughs> Don't know why, but he's a happy cockroach, so I'll take it. Um. Let's put a little bit of purple in there, too. So I've been experimenting with pens. And these Papermate flares, um, they're really kind of cool because they are watercolor pens, too. You can draw with it, and then you can just draw out some of the ink by putting a wet brush on it. I'm actually, this is really awkward. I would love to know how people do this because um, I clearly don't have the right setup. Why did I stop breathing, which is stupid. Anyway, so um, that achieves a really beautiful effect. And you can do that with, um, I've got a couple of them, but the red one too, right? Um, say, wah. Um, let's say their earrings. I didn't know she was a she until just now. I don't think she was a she. Maybe she's not a she. Nope. Too much water. So that would be better if I would have let that dry for a little bit. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just, I'm going on the edges and having it come on that I'm controlling where it flows, right? Rather than 
so it gives a um <laughs> it's a really dorky looking drawing and then the other thing I wanted to say um Crystal Lee, you were asked about the oh where did I put it here we go you asked about the non-bleeding pens right the microns and microns are great they're really standard they come in a variety of different widths it's nice to have a three pack um, in graphic design school I learned about putting tape on there so you can easily tell which width it is but another pen that is super awesome are these jelly rolls sakura and um sakura, sakura. i'm sorry how's that spelled s-a-k-u-r-a -A. why is it named after cherry blossoms was that cherry blossoms sakura is cherry blossoms in japanese oh i didn't know that that's interesting um so these do not bleed at all so then let's see if i'm right oh they do bleed i'm wrong i did this earlier i guess if you let them dry they don't Hmm, that's funny. That's really funny. But that's really cool, too. So, I would say with all markers, it's kind of cool to see what happens. And when I was a kid, I hated this, that they bled. But I didn't realize I could control it and do cool things with it. Nope. What did you think of the book reading, Noah? Oh, you're not going to talk to me. What? what did, did you read the article? Okay, I will be done in just a second. And there's one other pen I wanted to show you that's white. There's Jelly Rolls. Um, zoom, zoom, zoom. Aha! And I don't know where I got this from. Someone on YouTube talked about it and I was able to find it. Um, the Uniball Signo Broad. This is rocking because it allows you to put white in. And it's a fine tip, so... You know, let's say if it, someone um, had it as rain, right? Whatever. These are going to be polka dots. Do, 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 do. Um, and this, I think I got that at Wisconsin Craft Market. So, anyway, a couple doodle talks. Bye.